Now today we we shall see about an important topic which is a problem in summer months, uh, the stone issues which happen in the kidneys and the subsequent uh, passageways. Now why does a stone form? A stone forms basically because of dehydration in the body and super saturation of the crystals which leads to various size of stones. Now we really need to look into why it forms so that we can understand how we can treat it. Certain people can have a genetic predisposition for stone formation and if identified correctly can be treated in appropriate ways. We could have seen some people having multiple issues of stones happening every year and year again especially in the summer months in our parts of the world which is usually in April, May and June. Now the other causes which can lead to an increasing incidence of stone formation currently are the increasing prevalence of junk foods and lot of fatty foods and untimely foods. Well, if a small stone is there of the size of about say 5-6 millimeters, it can be an attempt can be made to treat the stone medically provided it is it meets up with the appropriate criteria like no infection, no uh, uh, risk of any renal damage and all this. If in case the stone is big then it might require surgery which used to be open surgery in the uh, previous years but now we have a lot of endoscopic surgeries available which can uh, be used to treat the stone with a small puncture made into the side of the uh, stone or it could also be done through your urinary passage itself. There is no need to make any external marks at all. Now the only preventive message which we can give for stone formation is hydration. Now there is no other substitute to plain water. If we continue to hydrate yourself well, say for example to close to around 2 or 3 liters of water intake every day, then that should prevent you from subsequent stone formations. Mm -hmm.